Okay, we're on Erevin, Perak Dalid, Mishnah Vav. Sixth Mishnah, the fourth chapter of Erevin. We're talking about in the past Mishnah Yot, a person has Dalid Amot. So I, I actually changed my diagram. You might have noticed if you looked in the last Mishnah that I had it, I had it square. But as you soon see, I changed it to round. So if this person, he has, let's say he's a little shorter than this, okay? It's good, you can make him smaller, okay? He has, let's move this forward. He has, he has four amot. It's machoka whether he has four amot this way or according to the second opinion, he has four amot in either direction to walk, but he can only carry four amot. Either way, we said he has a first four amot. I made it round. In the last one, I made it square. We'll see later on the difference between round and square when it comes to the, the actual Eruv Tchumen itself. But Amisha says the following. Let's say Hayushnaim. If there were two people, Miksat Amotav Shalzeh, Betoch Miksat Amotav Shalzeh, Miviim Veochlim Beemtza. If you have two guys, okay, I, here's, a, here's a, my, uh, this is the, one of the books that I've been using. Oh, that's too big. Let's make it smaller. Uh, let's make it a little bigger. I don't know why that's doing that, okay? But you can see half of this guy's Amot are, are intersecting with half, half Amot with this guy. So then they can bring and share in the middle. Venn diagram, basically. As long as they don't mix this one into the other one. Okay? Obviously, they can only, they can only carry, they can only bring it to this area, but I, but, but, you know, guy A can't bring his stuff over here because that's out of his four amot. So that way they can have a meal together when they're stuck out in the open on Shabbat. Hayush Losha. Let's say it's three guys. And the, and the middle guy is, is, is swallowed between them. So let this, the picture is like this. If I have three guys and the middle one, let me see, oh, let's see, this is why I made it, here we are. Okay, and the, and the middle one is swallowed in. So it's a real Venn, Venn diagram. So there's two guys on the outside and the third one in the middle. So the Mishnah says the following. Uh, he can eat with either one of them, not at the same time, obviously, and they can eat with him. And the outside cannot, our Asura can't carry, so he can have lunch with this guy, dinner with this guy, but these two, our Asura, obviously, they're stuck in there for Amo. What can this be compared to? The Shalosh Chatserot, Haptuchot Zo Lizo, Uptuchot Lirushut Harabim. I have three Chatserot that are open one to the other. And then they're open to the Rishut HaRabim. So there. So the two outside ones made an Eruv with the middle one. All right, let's, uh, let's, I'll make you, I couldn't find a chart for this. I'll make you a quick chart. Here we go, quick drawing. I have three Chatzerot, three courtyards, okay? And each one of them opens to the Rishut HaRabim. That's our road, okay? So the Mishnah says the following. What is this comparable to? To three Chatzerot, HaPetuchot Zolazu, they're each open one to the other. Uptuchot the Rishut Rabim, and they're also open to the Rishut Rabim. Ervush Im Imayim Tzayit. If the two outside, I'm going to switch back. If these two, okay, each one made an Eruv with the middle one. So these two made an Eruv, okay, and then these two made an Eruv. But they, these two didn't make an Eruv. Meaning, we made an Eruv, remember, we shared, uh, we took raisins, and we said, these raisins and the bread, whatever, we took the food that's appropriate, and we made an Eruv. And then these two went together and made an Eruv. So they're all, so the, the outsides are made an Eruv. He muterat imahem, vehe muterot imah. They're, they are permitted with it, with the middle one, and, and, and the middle is mutar with them. Ushtayim achitzonot, asurot zoimzo, and the outsider ones are, are forbidden one from the other. So, what, what's going on here? So let's look at the Bartunura. The Bartunura says the Gemara, uh, the Gemara says the following. Rabbanan ifligu alei de Rabbi Shimon beha. The Rabbanan uh, disagreed. Remember, we learned in this Mishnah, uh, Rabbi Shimon said, Lema davar dome. Okay, so in the Tanakam it says, Hu mutar ve'im mitarim, v'shnai machitzonim asurim zeim zeh. So let's look at the, in the Bartunura. The Rabbanan ifligu alei de Rabbi Shimon beha. V'amre kulan asurot zo bazo. So Rabbi Shimon said, Rabbi Shimon said, the outside are, can, are permitted, are, these two are permitted, and these two are permitted. Okay, that's okay. But the Rabbanan said, no, they're all asur. Why? The hashta and now Amr the Rabbi Shimon. Rabbi Shimon says the following: Meaning, we have this case. In this case, we have the case of the three chatzerot, where each one, where these two made, a, made an eruv, and then these two made an eruv. And the rabbana, you didn't argue in those cases. So why are you arguing in the case of, in the case of the the, the three guys? 
So th this actually is a quote that, from the Gemara. So the Gemara says the following. Hachika amra lehu, Rabbi Shimon the Rabbanan. Rabbi Shimon says to the Rabbanan, Mechdei, look, l'mah davar domeh l'shalosh chatserot ha-ptuchot zu l'zu l'shit ha-rabim. This is the exact same case as the three chatserot. Maishna hatam de pligitu, umaishna hacha de lo pligitu. Why are you arguing in the case of the three guys where the Rabbanan say it's not good, Whereas in the case of the, of the, of the three fields, the three chaseirot, the three courtyards, you're fine. These guys can make a, can make a, a deal with one another. So the Gemara says, Rabbanan, hatam avshe diurim. In the case of the, of the chaseir, the courtyard, there's a lot of, there's a lot of, 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 uh, of residents. Hachalo avshe diurim. There's not a lot of residents. What does this mean? In the case of the courtyards, remember, we're looking at courtyards with houses in it. So when these two make a chaseir, they're going to remind them, oh, by the way, don't go into the third one. Don't go over here. Okay? And when these two make a chatzer, they're going to remind each other, wait, but don't go over there. So since there's enough residents, there's houses in each courtyard, you know, oops, can't delete that. Since there's houses in each courtyard, then I'm going to, I'm going to remember, oh, that's annoying. I'm going to remember, sorry about that. Each one is going to remind each other. But in the case of one person, if I'm eating with him, and then these two guys are eating, they're just going to make a mistake and give one thing to another. They're going to get confused. So therefore, the Rabbanan said, in that case, it's not permitted. And that's why even though Rabbi Shimon said, Rabbi Shimon said, the Rabbanan said, no, they're all asirim zayim ze, so we don't have confusion afterwards. We'll stop here. If you have any comments or questions on this mission, you can email me at rspolter at gmail.com. And we'll dedicate our love to the memory of my father, Rabbi Simcha Ben Yitzchak Halman. Have a good day.